Yeah, it's surprisingly okay, to be honest. All right, guys, we're gonna start with the quarterfinal games between Ferry from Belgium against Eternal. Our last two remaining French players are Eternal and Mirak, and they are both in the quarterfinals. Best of five, it's gonna be Man of the West against Engmar. And on the bot side, we have the Man of the West player Ferry. His opponent at the top side is the yellow Engmar player Eternal. Um, Solas yeah. would like to pick this map as well against Engmar when you play Man of the West. Mm -hmm. And understandably, Men goes for fast drags, which is very obvious why, because you have a war player right in front of your base. Yep. Um, what do you think? What is gonna be the plan from Eternal? Will he go for the Pikeman as well to creep? Um, not Pikeman. He was gonna do it with orcs, but I think he will definitely creep as well, and then probably Wolf Riders. Okay, so we will have um, a Barak start, early Baraks. He already set the waypoint, guys. He's gonna go for the Rohan Spearman first. Um, yeah, I mean, if you micro well and if you actually grab the builder after you're creeping the work layer, you can also maybe move to the troll creep here. Mm -hmm. Would be a possible option. Um, I think he's just gonna attack with the two battalions when he's done creeping. He has already one soldier in the queue. This is something. What people are not doing normally, they don't have that many units in the queue before they build more farms. So he has only two farms mm -hmm. now, but he's gonna get a treasure from the creep. To get enough money for the third farm, I think. Alright, we have three mills into the fourth mill. Hall of the Kingsman, Thralmaster is gonna join. Probably Gunderbad Warriors. Can move to the creep at the right side or at the left side. And yeah, Gandabad Warriors, definitely. Moving also for the creep, potentially. Maybe he also wants to try to steal it. He's been talking about that before, but obviously there is no way you arrive in time. You would maybe be able to arrive in time when he would just make two farms into the barracks, but this way, this is just too early, I think. Yeah. No one can actually steal that. And that's, for me, a good start for the Man of the West player. Because mm. I don't think that those Gandabads will be able to deal any damage to the farms. Yeah, the only good thing they could achieve is if they keep those two battalions at home, but I don't think Ferry will uh, fall for that. Oh no, he's already moving forward. We'll be using just the just soldier battalion, which is coming out of the barracks, mm -hmm. to defend against so, the Gandabats. So those will practically achieve nothing except maybe stress uh, Ferry a little bit at home, but you could argue it's a lot better if you just creep with those orcs. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we have already almost a power point collected because of the creep. Rallying call was used. We have extrovers here to defense. But I would say that he should be still able to take down at least one mil. Uh, I don't know. Um, good response with the extras being out so far on the map because that forces him to use the rallying call already. And okay. good war chant. Nice block here. I like it. The soldiers can't get to the back line, uh, to the mill. And now micro a bit. I think if you just focus down, can you still kill? The it looks like Fairy doesn't want to try. He's just gonna fight. Yeah. Um, I think um, very good defense from Eternal. Definitely, yeah. We'll be able to keep all the mills alive. I think more Gandabad warriors. I think it's a smart move from Fairy. You know, it's not trying to take down the mill, in which you know, which he knows it's not gonna be possible. So fighting back and trying to get some power points at least. Yeah. I think there was still some indecision with him because either you want to go for eco or you want to just kill as many of Eternal's units. And I think he was a little bit too in between of that. Yeah. So it didn't go very well. Eternal at least also lost his orcs though on the other side. But now we have Gondonites here from mm -hmm. the stable. And so far, and there we go, we have now one Pikeman unit. Eternal has okay. to be super careful with those kind of bad warriors now. And I think but he's going to lose those extroverts now. Yeah, but at least it looks like Eternal is on top of his game in terms of knowing the timing. <clears throat> but look at the Gondonites now. Where are the Gondonites? They are here. Uh, Pikeman? Yeah, Pikeman. Oh, run back. Run back. Trying Good. to micro around. Not bad. He was able to save the extroverts at least. Eternal is going for an attack with a Gandabad warrior and a Pikeman unit. Okay, so far so good. Okay, pressuring the mill. But needs to be careful. He's actually getting more Gondonites. I see now two battalions on the field. Oh, the axes. Grab the money. 
Uh -huh. Oh, nice one here from Fairy, taking down those extrovers and the treasure. Meantime, gets maybe a builder. Oh yeah, he's not watching. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Nice one from Fairy. Um, yeah, those Gondor Knights are pressuring Eternal big time. The mill will be taken down. One of the first mills he was building. On the other side, he will be able to take take something in return because Fairy has no units to defend himself just yet. Oh, nice micro here with those Gondor Knights just in time. Running back. Oof, yeah, um, so the first big mistake Eternal has made here is going for Black Numenorians. I think that's just way too early. Yeah. In the meantime, he keeps getting farms done. There's not a whole lot men can do about that unless the pikes get out of position. I mean, oh, nice trample. I like the way he's microing with those Gondor Knights, really. Yeah, he's pretty good at micro. Yeah. Now, with the with the soldiers, he should be easily able to take down the pikemen. So he won't lose this farm for sure, which is all about to hit level 2. On the other side, Eternal lost all the early mills, so he will need to wait a lot of time for them to hit level 2. Yeah. So, there's still the warp uh, layer left to creep for him. That's a way to recover. Yeah. He also has two X um, Thrall Masters at the left of the map. Yeah, they they will be recovering. Both of, both are extrovers. There we go. One of them is even almost level three, by the way. And Gondor Knights are pressuring. I mean, I like to I like the micro here from the man of the West player fairy with those Gondor Knights. He will be able to take down another mill here from Eternal. Mm -hmm. Archer range is coming up, and that's gonna make uh, the harassments. Eternal is looking for even harder. Yeah. Little tip here for Eternal if he's gonna rewatch this. Uh, once the Gondor Knights came back, he moved back with his entire group of units there instead of splitting off one pike to creep in the meantime. Uh, and he was not paying attention to those Thrall Masters recovering those two extra overs. He will be now taken down entirely, which is a big feels bad, man. He could have just sent them back to the fortress or near to the fortress and recover over time. And it looks like Fairy is gonna grab himself also this creep here. It works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could really see how the Gondor Knights are on his mind right now. Yeah, he's yeah. just spamming many, many pikemen now. With his whole army just following those. Doesn't get anywhere else. Yeah, yeah those soldiers, they will be taking down those units. Eternal now will not be able to deal any counter damage any soon. Uh, yeah, another war creep will be secured by the Man of the West Flare Fairy. Who is also, you know, he's playing really great with those Gondor Knights. Mm -hmm. Pressuring and knows when to go back. Knows when to, when to commit. Okay, Eternal is going to try a big attack with the Black Numenorians that he was getting so early. Yeah, only um, one battalion though. Yeah, and he already has archers on the other side. Let's see what that can achieve. He's going to get at least one more battalion. I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe he stole the creep? Not sure. Maybe the treasure, because he would have yeah. gotten experience on those units. Yeah. The farm is gonna go down for sure. Um, yeah, I don't think that this is gonna do much. I mean, he can still maybe kill the farm here in the front, uh, but the all-out fight should be won. The archers are not in position, though. I don't like that. Rallying Cold will be used. Felvin. Mm, okay, can he but... kill the Gondor Knights now? Oh, heal was nice. Good heal. From Fiery, he has four power points collected afterwards. Um, it's kind of risky with the Gondor Knights there. But he will yeah. be able to save both of them. There is a well, remember, so they will be recovering. It's always impressive how much the Black Numenoreans with the Warchant can actually achieve. I mean, I would have expected this fight to be a lot more one-sided. Yeah. But the Black Numenoreans are now gone, so we have now only some Thrall units. And the uh, archers in the back line are taking care of them. Once the pikes are gone, the Gondor Knights can go again. Yomi is here. And now there are no more pikemen. That means extrovers are not mm -hmm. gonna get away. A good trade for Eternal still though, I would say. And now some dire wolves coming in. Those can trample. Um, yeah, he was able to get some time. I don't know about the dire wolves when, you don't when, there, when there are literally no pikemen around from Men of the West. Maybe he's gonna mm. go for a uh, for a snow troll soon. Yeah, the thing is, 
you w don't really want to show you have a troll and wolf then until you get a good trample, right? So I'm not sure about that move. And he's also getting some more black Numenorians. Uh, the Hall of the Kingsman is still only level 2. Actually, Eternal is doing now great. Oh, the Builder from Fairy. Uh, oh, yeah, it's, it's down. Yes. That's really nice for, from Eternal. Eternal is actually keeping now the Man of the West player busy. I think yeah. what Fairy needs to do is just use those Gondor Knights maybe to kill some more mills, you know? Yeah, exactly. I think Fairy is now making the mistake that Eternal was making earlier, keeping too much of his army at home, not doing anything else on the map. Yeah. The farm has been taken down here from those wolf packs. Oh, an early market. That's yeah. interesting. Problem is, when you don't have any farms, the Grand Harvest is not going to help you. <laughs> <laughs> Another farm will be... Oh, Rebuild was used to save the level 1 farm. I agree. I like the way now Eternal is pressuring really from all possible sides. Um, no ranges incoming any soon. And Eternal has time to expand at the same time. So we're gonna take a look into the current power points and command points. Man of the West has only 475 command points. His command points, no, never mind, he has now 575. Um, Rebuild is on cooldown, heal, rallying call, and almost 5 power points collected afterwards. On the mm -hmm. other side, 9 power points collected almost by Eternal after Felwind and Warchant, and 550 command points. So in terms of command points, it's quite equal. Uh, the good thing okay. is that one of those farms from Fairy is all about to hit level 3. Now uh, we have this classic situation where you could call it the Goblin mistake, where Eternal has been harassing non-stop and lost most of his units doing that, except the Direwolves. And Fairy's army mostly just keeps growing, so the counterattack is what Eternal needs to be ready for. And he has Walder, so maybe he will be. The thing is that the army moving forward from Fairy is mainly based on archers, you know? Mm -hmm. and I think I feel like, yes, you might be able to kill many, many units with them, but I don't think that you will be able to kill many structures. I mean, you have Gondor Knights to follow, mm -hmm. but it looks like he lost one of them. I see only one Gondor Knight. Nah, never mind. He has two. Okay, so... Momentum's switching to Men of the West now, let's see. Eternal handles it. Yomi is level 2. Has the spear throw ability available. The mill will be taken down here. Oh, Yomi has to be careful not riding into the pikemen. And the Gondor Knights as well. Oh, that was close. Rallying call, yeah. Good one. I think now he needs to split. Kinda right. He needs to split now his army with the Gondor Knights going one side and the army going to the other side. Yeah, he can even split his Gondor Knights into two groups. Yeah, that's what he's doing right now. Beautiful. Mill is gonna be... And Eternal can't be everywhere, and that's... I think he's gonna lose many mills now. This one is yeah. quite low as well in the front. Yeah, Eternal doesn't even have a single level 2 mill. Unlike the Man of the West player, he has a level 3 farm. Uh, on the bright side, Eternal has to summon orcs ready. Um, even though is I don't that think... Is the bright that, side, though? <laughs> I, mean, I don't think they, they gotta do anything against the Gondor Knights. They're gonna just yeah. die in a second. Uh, he has Dark Rangers like halfway done, but now he has no command points left. Yeah, his command points kept only 300 command points. He's gonna lose one of the one of the barracks here. Another farm will be taken down. And yeah, I mean, he's just keep he keeps chasing those Gondor Knights. I think what he needs to do is just make some pikemen, you know, place them or chase one with one pikeman only. Yeah. But I feel like he can't win this fight against those archers anyway right now. And um, this is a classic example of defending into counterattack and um, Eternal not having enough. And also the map, of course, very good for that style because it only takes you 30 seconds to get across the map, basically. Yeah. Um, with Eowyn, you can also kill pretty easy trolls. Yeah, we know. Um, that's, what, that's what he was doing also in the round of 16 games. There was also a matchup in which Fairy was playing man against... Uh, Engma, and then he meets this uh, Eowyn, and Eowyn spear one shots those Thrall Masters when they are not buffed. Uh, yeah, Lone Tower was special summoned by the way, so he has a great protection for, for this pathway, a lot of archers in the front line. Like you said, I don't think that Engma will be, you know, able to take down this tower any soon. Going for the last war creep remaining on the field. 
Yeah, he has a massive power point lead as well, you know. He has over mm -hmm. uh, five power points advantage. Snow trolls are here now. Dark Rangers, Snow trolls, so some elite units. No banner carry upgrades though for the level two. Uh, long shot ability. Uh, yeah, I mean, if he gets a fight resistant main inventory, he will win that, I think. Snow trolls and rangers are just so good, but not in this position. Um, what was kind of questionable here is, I think, he has to get the summon orcs ready. Maybe he should be using that and use the war chant altogether. Mm, maybe. And then try to commit to the backline, but I think, you know, summon orcs. Oh, Walter has to be careful. Uh, spear throw doesn't kill them in one shot from Eomir. They're also, you know, they, they have double buff pretty much from Waldo and the War Chant. Looks like you want to commit to that. Nice micro with those Gondor Knights once again. Dark Rangers are putting in some nice work. I think Fairy has to be a bit more patient here. Because, you know, after forcing his enemy to use the War Chant, he could just go back behind the tower, chill, wait. I agree. Oh, Eomir is gonna go down, unfortunately. Heal was on cooldown. Oh, he sold his Dark Rangers. <laughs> Typically, turn <laughs> Uh, to to save them against the Gondor Knights. <laughs> oh, maybe. I mean, if that's the move, I like it. <laughs> and the snow trolls are also quite slow. And I think in a situation like this, you want to make the ban you want to purchase the Banneker upgrade, you know? Because snow mm -hmm. trolls are getting benefit from it. Dark Rangers, Black Nomonorians, everything. Okay. Probably the best Orc Simon he could have gotten because the Cav is low now. Yeah, that's true. So he will be able to deal with the Archers now. Um, he might be even able to... T Boromir is here, though. No? A bit late, but he's here. Now we have level 2 barracks, level 2 archer range. You know, the, fa the farms are glowing because of the Grand Harvest. He's getting more and more resources. Yes, right now, 950 command points against 475. So the double amount of command points available mm -hmm. for the Man of the West play player fairy, guys. Um, yeah, he has the Lone Tower protecting this pathway, moving with his units through the other pathway, winning those small fights and the map control fights. Eternal being in a bad spot, but I think he can still come back if the Man of the West player keeps making those little mistakes like losing Eomir, losing heroes, you know? Yeah, needs to make a couple mistakes there, I think. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, you know, he should not give too much time also to Eternal, I think. To get more Dark Rangers, to get more Snow Trolls. Yeah. Also, he's getting to Giants slowly, but surely. Yeah. On the other side, there is there are no Siege Weapons just yet from the Man of the West player. Stables level 1. Mm. A lot of heroes now. Yeah. We have Iomir back on the fields. We have uh, Theodin now joining the fight. Iomir is also lurking around somewhere. Uh, Boromir, I mean. Okay, this is a bit risky sending in the knights without leadership. The snow trolls and wolves can definitely take on them. Yeah. There's only one level 2 mil left, if I'm not mistaken. Yomi was here, quite low though. Was taking a lot of damage. Trying to beat into the tower. But what happened? Not sure. I think he walked into the tower with some units. Okay. Aragorn is here as well, guys. Oh, so, yeah. Nice. A lot of heroes, especially Aragorn, is gonna be very annoying to deal with. With yeah, the Atelas, he can also strong. keep his uh, uh, keep his heroes alive. <clears throat> Double heal pretty much now for the heroes. Uh, Felwind is still on cooldown. Snowbind is ready for the worst case, so he can use it on the fortress if necessary to delay. Uh, but I don't think that the man of the West play will be attacking the fortress. With this army, at least. We are the elite. Uh, more Dark Rangers. Still no banner carry upgrades. Oh, yeah, he has banner carry upgrades. Getting the level 2. But they have now double buff with Tudin. So they won't die, you know, from one long shot or from two. Mm. We'll nice. just right click the fortress now, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, he has Gondor Knights and Tower Guards. Aragorn. Long shot incoming. The Alvind will be used. Not gonna kill them. Uh, still dealt a lot of damage because he didn't switch them. He switched them to the old crown sense, but he will be used now. Uh, now it's, you know, he can't do anything at this point. Warchan was used. Lone Tower right in front of the fortress. Why not? 
A good desperation calling from Eternal to buy House of Lamentation, which debuffs all the units around, but yeah. doesn't matter. And that's gonna be the game okay. number one, guys. Fairy, the belt. I mean, that's also this game. You couldn't tell who's gonna win. I think Eternal had a chance as he was pressuring um, to win this game. But mm -hmm. then, you know, kept losing those units, like you said. And Fairy was able to strike back. The game number two is all about to begin. This time, Elves from Eternal against Fairy's Goblins on the map Rohan 2, the game number two. This should be fun. Agreed, MQS. Evolution is welcome to the stream. Yes, this is the smallest map in the map pool for the good against evil tournament. Hmm, yeah. This way. On the right side, we have the yellow elven player Eternal. And on the left side, the goblin player Fairy. Fairy likes to play with goblins. He's like a one trick uh, goblin player. Wanted to play with goblins exclusively in this tournament, but I said no, this is not possible. So I was giving him man as well. <laughs> Uh, so he definitely enjoys the goblin faction. I think he has also a lot of experience when it comes to play against elves or any other faction of Rise of the Witch King with goblins. Um, maybe not on this map though. Okay, so just to give the viewers an idea of the size of this map if they're not familiar. Forts of Eisen is uh, 380 in the horizontal and 350 I think in the vertical. And this map is 300-300, so very short. Yeah, it's much, much smaller than Forts of Eisen. Um, yeah, and Forts of Eisen isn't a big map, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, we have two Malone trees. I mean, this map is also existing in Battle for Middle-earth. It's exactly the same map, by the way, pretty much. Mm -hmm. uh, two Malone trees, okay. three Malone trees, Barracks. And I yeah. start. Second Goblin Keef is coming up already. The thing is, I think on a map like this, um, you can actually defend yourself and your... Malone tree is quite easy with the mm -hmm. archers. So, in order to win this game, I think a fairy has to pre perform really good. And Eternal has to make some mistakes. There are some matchups I think, you know, you can perform as good as you want. If, the enemy, if, the, if your opponent is playing just, you know, a good game, it's hard to win. Very true. So, there's a little meta move in this matchup, which is elves basically... Where very often start pikes because goblins don't really attack with their first battalion. Um, in this case, Ferry is though, and he will not only attack but also find the pikes creeping. Yeah, that's very that's, good actually. That's annoying, but he won't kill them. Mithlons beat them, but only barely. Yeah, but you know, I trade all day long my 100 unit <laughs> cost unit cost yeah. unit against 300. Yeah. And he was also able to stop, so he's killing time. Denying him the creep, the experience, and the treasure. Mm -hmm. So I think three more guys will die from the poison here. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna get level 2 afterwards anyway, so it's not a big deal. It's true. Okay. Very greedy 4th uh, tree from Eternal here. That's not easy to defend. Yeah. On the other side, the Goblin player Fairy is creeping his works. We have now two Goblin Keeves into the Spider Pits. Spider Links are gonna join. Mm -hmm. um, spider Links, I don't know about them. Against Archers, they are really weak. Against yeah. Pikemen, they are really weak. And again, small map. Spider Links, not so much army versus army unit, which can happen pretty early in this map. Yeah. So maybe Spider Riders would be a better choice. Just go for the upgrades. Yeah, maybe. A double barracks now for Eternal. Just disengaging. It looks like you want to just give up this Malon tree. I mean, sp with Spider Links, I think you can stall a bit. Pressure, you know, draw attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's handling this well. He might get this second tree as well, which is all goblins can hope for at this point, I think. And by the way, the goblin player started with the cave pad, so he didn't go for the war oh. chant. That's strange. It looks like he wants to get those fights. But again, I think, you know, in a 1v1 situation, rallying call is just much better than Keith Bats, especially when there is no leadership to negate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ferry doing a good job keeping Eternal home. Um, and as we saw in the previous game, Eternal, really the type of player that gets a tunnel visioned very quickly on defending. It seems he has a hard time splitting something off to attack. 
And yeah, when you, when you just check the minimap at the bottom left side, guys, this is crazy. Uh, Fairy is using every single pathway on a small map like Rohan. Um, because, you know, on this map, sending all your, all your units through the middle is just what the Alvin player wants. And I think that's the exact same wheel, you know, you want to play that matchup as Goblins. I bet he really regrets not having a war chant now. The Spidlings will get so much more done. Yeah. But he was able to take down the Malon tree. He might even be able to get this one at the bottom right side, which would be yes. amazing. He will. And he will, yeah. It looks like Eternal doesn't even try to defend that one because he's moving forward with those Lorian Warriors and those Pikemen uh, to the top side of the map, which is kind of questionable. There is nothing to get. I mean, he might go for the Crypto uh, I guess, to get some um, money. He saw a lot of units coming from the north, so maybe he thinks there's a tunnel. And yeah, tunnel-wise, there is actually not a tunnel at the bottom left, and also not at the bottom right side. This is kind of interesting. There is only one mm -hmm. in the middle. He went for an early fissure, it seems. Oh, the builder? The I builder agree. from Eternal? Oh, it's ah. down. Oh, that's massive, actually. Barry is playing really good, this matchup. I would also say that he has the upper hand right now, in this very mm -hmm. current situation. He is going for the half-troll swordsman. Okay, this attack has to get something done now. But, um, yeah, well... He fats. Okay, yeah. He will clean this up with the two spidling flank. Yeah. And he's gonna, go to, he's gonna get the five power points. He can now even go for the Vorchan for the double buff. He might go All for right. this now. That's how much he already killed. Yeah, look, his power points are rising, guys. He's gonna go for the Vorchan. Will be used now on those half throw swordsmen. And Still yeah. a close fight. But um, in the meantime, he at least gets a tunnel. That's true. Yeah, I think also really important to mention that in the meantime, he's not being attacked at least, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I would say that if he would have a uh, war chant instead of the cave pads to begin with, he would have won this mm -hmm. fight much harder. Yeah. Um, right now, we have six power points collected for the Alvin player. Eternal for 50 command points, guys. Uh, two, almost three power points collected after Warchan and Keith Bats. 400 command points for the Goblin player, Fairy. Oof, Eternal is in a ton of trouble now. This is a huge counterattack. Yeah. After and Fairy Sportsman knows. He knows he doesn't have to come from a side or anything. He can just walk straight in. Yeah. And yeah, he has now half Troll Swordman. They are uh, a bit harder to deal with than Goblins. They are all about to hit level 2 as well, that's gonna unlock the charge attack, which is an additional war chant, pretty much. And yeah, he's losing those Malon trees, even though the Goblin player didn't finish this one. But he might be doing that later on, I mean, this is just too easy to kill. And he's looking for this fight around the fortress range, I don't know about that, I, I would still say that, you know, focusing the Malon tree would be a better choice. I mean, Fairy just has enough to still kill these units, but... At the cost of a lot of his own. Yeah. Um, yeah, after this attack, Eternal now has only 475 command points, as he was able to expand through the bot left side, which is yeah. actually nice. Against goblins, it's really hard, but Fairy is yeah. not expanding here, which is kind of questionable. Yeah, despite this attack looking very threatening, Eternal is still keeping a healthy economy. Yeah. And now Fairy is going for the Lumber Mills, who gets more and more resources. Smart um, choice, small map. And it looks like now he's gonna move to the left side of the map, so he will be able to see those Malone trees. Uh, Eternal was trying to build himself an advantage, but again, you know, those, those Malone trees, you can't keep them alive against goblins. That's almost impossible. Oh, Builder. Again? Oh, he already lost the builder earlier, by the oh, way, now he's paying attention. That's the good thing about a small map, the wall hub range is almost everywhere. Okay, that might be a good fight for Eternal here with those Ooh. units, if Harry doesn't pay attention. Stuck. Oh, he, he's gonna lose a one battalion though, or a level 3 nice. battalion has been taken down. Um, okay. Nine power points collected, what's gonna be the power point choice? Is he gonna go for the mist? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, he's making surprisingly a lot of uh, pikemen. Maybe he's expecting some spider riders to come. Uh, it's just porcupine tanks better than Lorian swords in most cases. Oh, Good tainted land. 
Maybe Alvin Wood could be a choice. Good choice then. Yeah, now if he wants to counter it, he, I, I would do it because there's also a statue, but he picks the mist. That's yeah. also okay, but... Oh, but he's losing the fight still. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't use the mist, by the way, guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, which is kind of interesting. And now he has no more units left. He has almost no more units left. Or? I mean, he has some archers coming now. He has double barracks, so he can get reinforcements. He's, he went for an attack with the, with one pikeman battalion. And the archer mm. in the back. Is he gonna use mist with those? I'm really surprised. I think Alvin Woods... I mean, can you go for the Alvin Wood from the Rallying Call? You can, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's why I think would have actually been a good choice here, because that's an area where you would probably take more fights in the future. So to cancel this with your own woods would be good. Uh, Imperialist is saying that uh, banner upgrades would be uh, probably a good idea for the goblins. But I mean, it's yeah. not going to be necessary right now, guys. We bring spears from Midland. So he can just do what he's doing all the time. And he's winning right. those fights anyway. Yeah. Eternal has been outplayed this game, gotta say it. Yeah, and I think, you know, when you in a situation like this, I'm always a fan of, you know, defending yourself, but at the same time, you know, trying to pressure your opponents. But in a situation like this, I think it was a mistake to try to go for a push, at least, you know, with one pikeman and an archer battalion. Let's be honest, mm -hmm. how much damage will you be able to deal with one pikeman? <laughs> Jesus. I don't want to hear elf OP after this game ever. Version 8.3 did it. GG. Yeah. <laughs> nice it can't statement. Possibly it can't be the player, right? It has to be the patch. It's always the faction, you know? Game number 3, Engmar against Man of the West. Fairy is only one win away from moving to the semi-finals, in which he will be either facing against Platt or Mirak. And Solas, what do you think about, you know, Engmar against Man of the West in this map? Yeah, good question. I uh, don't think I've seen it recently. Uh, I would feel pretty uncomfortable as men because it feels like it's so hard to attack. But he's doing fast tracks, which is probably the best choice. Okay. A stable delete would be another option. Yeah. Um, yeah, this map got edited, by the way. We have still many, many um, war creeps here. Troll creeps protecting the ends, but then, you know, only and exclusively uh, works. Uh, two mills. Eternal doing his uh, weird farm placement again, where he can't make a good farm in the back of his base now. And his builder, he doesn't know where to send him. Did you see that? He was very hesitant. He's like, I'm not working today. It's Corona. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, he's going to make his third mill down here now. That's very strange. Holland is my least favorite map, but remember, this is the edited version of the map, Holland. This is not the Holland okay. you know. So to give you viewers an idea of the timing here, uh, Eternal started his third mill when his Hall of the King's Men just finished. So very late. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Man of the West players starting with the soldiers first. So didn't go. For, doesn't want to go for the creeps. Wants to go for attack. Oh, okay. Um, in a one v one situation, I'm assuming the soldiers they should be, you know, able to take down the Gandabad warriors. Oh uh, yeah, but um, well, it depends if you see them coming or not, right? Yeah. You can buy some time. And it looks like you know Eternal, Eternal is just gonna move forward. He doesn't want mm -hmm. to take the fight. Um, I didn't see it. Which might lead him to lose one of those mills. But uh, at least um, Ferry is going this way, where the whole of the King's Men is protecting the mill. So yeah. maybe this, at least the soldier battalion will die trying to do this. Oh, Rallying Call was but used. This mill is going to go down for sure. Some the axes here. Uh, on the bright side, Eternal is creeping. Okay. So he's going to get some money. Doesn't demolish, so he can, you know, buy some time. Pick down those soldiers with the buff. He hit level 2 now. Now get extrovers. Uh, it would be a really shame if you lose the second mill as well. It looks like it though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's really not a very good start here for the Engmar player channel. Yes, but, this uh, is his last chance to win this game. Let's not forget, Fairy 
Is it, it is a fast track, so his eco isn't great, and he keeps losing the soldiers, so that's the bright side. And also he's going for the early stable right now. That's good. Eternal was able to get the creep, however, and the treasure. Uh, that's gonna give him some money back to replace those mills. Going for and the Dean now. Another. Yeah. Oh, He's just losing too many units. He needs to be careful about the troll though. Yeah. Oh, looks like he doing? wants he doesn't want to creep. Um Fairy was actually able to save this level 2 soldier battalion, which is really nice. Yeah. Now he's gonna go for the creep with those pikemen. Eternal might try to fight for that because Gandavets they are strong against those pikemen. Okay. And he's moving to the third war creep. I don't know mm -hmm. what he's doing with those Gandavets. He's going back and forth all the time. I mean, nothing to catch them. Maybe just wants information. Steal the creep. Yeah. Steal the creep, maybe potentially the treasure. But now it's too late for that. Let's go back now with those Gandabat warriors. Um, he's gonna go for the wolf packs. Um, yeah, might be not a bad choice actually against those pikemen. Yeah, I think this is where the map also really helps him because even if men gets a lot of economic damage, it's it just takes so much longer to follow it up with anything. Yeah, and now you might even go for attack with those two pikemen and the extra of a battalion. Uh, Warchant is available, rallying call is on cooldown. So remember, you know, for the first push, Fairy was using his buff to take down this mill. This also was taken down, this is a replacement for that. Anyway, Eternal didn't use his buff yet. Yeah. You want to use and it, I think, before the second buff is going to be ready, you know? This counterattack is actually really annoying. There's nothing Fairy can do about it. Can't do anything with those Gondor knights, but it looks like you want to go for a play anyway. He also did that also in the first game against Engmar. Um, even you know, with the pikeman being around, he went for a risky play, but it was a really great micro. He was always able to get away again. And those extrovers are not in position. Uh, yeah, look at this. I like this attempt, you know. I mean, Gondor Knights from Fairy are really annoying to deal with. He needs to get another farm if this has to pay off. Yeah, should be able to. Do. Uh, he still didn't use Warchan. He's gonna use Warchan now. Um, I think that's a really bad situation, you know. Look, uh, by the time Eternal uses his buff for the first time, the second buff from Man of the West is already ready, you know. Yeah, it's not ideal. But at least it gives him that farm kill. Or he might also get the creep here at the bottom oh, left, nice. right side. That's really good for Eternal. That's gets it. a comeback. That's a comeback. Oh, Soldiers were able to get the last hit and the money. Oh, no. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> oh, fairy is a is a is a, I don't know what to say. Oh, two hundred pities. Scoochie underscore underscore gang underscore back, underscore you know, underscore cheer dex two hundred. Thanks for streaming this game, smiley face. Thanks for watching, my friend, and thank you for the two hundred pities. Underscore underscore. Gunner Knights cool the builder. Oh yeah, and I I like the way he's microing really with those Gunner Knights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, most of the players would be just running into them and losing much more. It was really nice to see his gameplay with those Gondor Knights. Um, yeah, that went uh, really bad for Eternal with the Wolf Riders. He was not able to stop the soldiers. Seven power points collected now by Eternal. Uh, oh, 400 command points. Fortress. Oh, it's not shooting at the Wolf. For a second, I thought it's gonna kill it. So it gets another farm. Yeah. Once again, the map helping out Eternal more than it's helping Fairy. Fairy now moving forward with three soldier battalions, but I don't like the fact that he has no pikemen around them. Oh, yeah. Um, the wolf riders, there is only one battalion though. So, and let's be honest, they are also not the strongest calf in the game. Yeah. Also, Eternal barely always misses these attacks on the map. He never sees them really. Yeah. Um, I mean, Eternal has a power point advantage right now. Uh, Fairy, however, can go if he wants to for the heal. Oh, he was running through the pikemen there for some reason. Just kill the pikemen with your packs, with your wolves. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be the case. He's just gonna lose those spearmen. Which is really good. Oh. Lose. Another farm will be taken down. Not bad. Thank you for the follow. Birges uh, Appreciate it. Hope you're gonna enjoy your stay, buddy. Underscore, underscore, underscore. Get another farm, good. Yeah, Eternal Fairy. actually is striking back. 
keeping everything at home. It's similar to game one in yeah. terms of Fairy just defending him. Yeah. Nice trample with those uh, Wolf Riders. Now you just try to save them. Nice heal from it, uh, from Fairy here to keep those units alive. But I think in a situation like this, we might see the we might see a, like a deja vu effect, you know? Like like you mm -hmm. said, I'm 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 remembering the game number one. It was pretty much the same situation in which Engma was attacking all the time, man was defending, and then going for a big attack, which was nearly impossible to defend. And yeah. I think I hope that Eternal learns from that game number one. He needs to be ready when this is gonna happen. Yeah. Again, maybe he doesn't need to learn because of the map. Also a slight different um, from the first game. Fairy went for a second barracks this time. Yeah, no archer range, that means. Okay. Going for the well to heal up those Gondor Knights. Um, would you go for uh, more Gondor Knights or would you try to get some Rohirrim or even some Knights of Dolamroth instead in the mid to lead game as Gondor? As man, uh, I mean. Always, always Eomer first. Before you do anything else, add Eomer. Then you can think about Rohirrim. Okay, this mid is gonna go down. So there are no heroes from any uh, from both players, by the way, just yet. As Eternal is going for the second hall of the Kingsman. Okay, so the difference between this attack from Fairy and between the first game is he's trying to harass now. This is not an army attack um, that wants to face Eternal's army. He just wants mills, and he's not getting a whole lot of them. Yeah. And yeah, now he keeps he keeps actually giving power points for uh, to Eternal. By losing those soldiers left and right because he's not grouped uh, when they are solo they are easy to pick up and kill hmm. and eternal has almost 10 power points collected so he might go again for the for the orc special summon which might mm -hmm. be a bit more effective in this game than in the game number one yeah and fairy is now going for the archer range and a battle tower he's building up just in front of the of his base i agree with both choices and also, I think Fairy has learned a lesson now, which is maybe don't try to attack as much on this map. If we get 300,000 uh, stream point, we get Isengard mousepad for free, yeah. Cool. Of course. We're gonna send it to your uh, house, my friends. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. We got a mousepad with the hand of Isengard on it. I need one, actually. No problem. I'm gonna send you guys a picture. Watch. I think I've, I've sent a picture how it looks how it looks like in the Discord. It's not bad, you know. A white mouse pad with the with the black white hand from uh, from the Urukai. Oh, he was using the troll eternal. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Um, great choice because the archers are very late. It means he can now get some gift trolls, oh. which Engmar normally can't do. Him. There's a lot going on on the map right now. Yeah. Um, a lot of infantry from men moving in, the knights trying to be annoying. Um, the thing is that, you know, Men of the West play went for all five power points from the spellbook. Um, mm -hmm. So oh, he won't the have the Lone Tower special summon any soon or something he's like this. He's losing all Direwolves. Oh. Yeah, he's losing all his Direwolves. I was able to get away with one of them. Wait. They're all gonna survive? With two of them? Two. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. Both of them are actually level two and level three. Okay. Now, will he be able to defend this attack? That's the question. And Gondor, um, uh, he lost the Gondor Knights. Here. Bad wind. And he's just, you know, donating power points by losing the skiff troll. At, at the side from Fairy. All right. And also revealed his plan, of course. Oh, nice one. The Gondor Knights again. But overall, Eternal really not, again, taking much damage. It's just a few units dying here and there. I mean, I need to, again, give some credits to this fairy. Because normally, you know, when you see that many pikes around the uh, <laughs> extroverts, you are like, okay, I'm not gonna take that fight. But this guy is, you know, microing around, going all the way to the back line and never gives up looking for this yeah. uh, trample. And getting the trample, but like, 95% of the time. The question is, is it worth trampling axe throwers, which cost 200, when the knights could be killing a mill in the meantime? Yeah, that's true, you know. Of course, you could maybe do some different stuff, but he doesn't. He did. He, he doesn't lose those Gondor Knights, at least, you know. Yeah. Uh, power point wise, though, um, yeah, it's definitely in favor of the Engma player Eternal, and he also built a tower to protect this yeah. uh, lair. 
Oh, I would love if he put some wildmen in there. He's gonna get the uh, ice arrows. Oh, and yeah, he's gonna try to destroy the lair. That's gonna be uh, very bad. Oh, he has snowbind. He just picked snowbind to keep this tower alive. He should just be beating a bit more, I think. Or nah, maybe he does. He didn't want to get. Uh, you know, he he didn't want that. You know, this tower is getting super low. And uh, while he sees Fairy's whole army trying to destroy this, he's attacking with his own. Yeah. And he has Whiteman, he, he can maybe put them inside, but the uh, Gondor Knights are saying, no, 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 we are not getting anywhere. Can uh, you put units in a tower when it's frozen? I actually don't know. Um, you're gonna, nah, he's not gonna try. Maybe not. Maybe yes, because, you know, you don't produce anything, right? That's the description mm -hmm. from the Snowbinds. You cannot produce... Okay. That was a terrible attack from Fairy, to yeah. be honest. Um, didn't do anything. I mean, after beating after beating the Snowbind, he should just go back, you know? Mm -hmm. Be uh, until this moment, I think it was a fine attack. Beating him to go for the Snowbinds from the Spellbook. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, but now he has Rangers. Again, he has a Marketplace with the Grand Harvest to get more farm, uh, more money from those farms outside. Double Varax, Archer Range level 2. It's a level 3 farm in the back. Eternal was trying to kill with the Cave Troll, but was not mm -hmm. able to. Second Cave Troll also just died. Didn't really pay attention. Now we have Grand Harvest, so... I think Fairy, for now, is good to just sit back and take his easy. Yeah. And let me check the whole of the Kingsmen are... Now nah, he's going for the level 3 upgrades now. That means we're gonna have some Dark Rangers gonna, you know, uh, on the field soon. Felwind is available. Okay. Second troll air converted. He's gonna go for the in. Um, yeah, that's a massive army here from Eternal. The problem is, you know, not massive enough to take down this area, I think. With the tower, he can also just, in the worst case, put ranges inside. That's really powerful. Yeah. I don't think I like going Dark Rangers before a hero in this case. Because, again, big map. Archers are not so good for Angmar here, I feel like. Waldo maybe a bad, good choice, what do you think? Yeah, because this game will most likely go pretty long now, and the earlier you get your heroes, the better you will be in your late game. Um, and also maybe a better choice would it be to... Um, yeah, to go maybe for yeah more heroes, definitely, but also Black mm -hmm. Numenorians or... Kill trolls against so many Gondor Knights. Yeah. Be a good choice. Because he has a lot of Gondor Knights. Rangers now. Yeah, he just summoned the Lone Tower, by the way, in front of the base. But it's far away, so a possible uh, Troll Stone Tower expansion wouldn't reach it, I think. Yeah. I think, um, and that's not very known. Cave trolls, when you convert them, I think they can still throw Gundabad orcs if you pick them up. And, um, oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know yeah. that. Well. And it has a big range, so he could try to kill the tower like this, but that's very hipster. <laughs> Maybe Eternal doesn't know as well. Maybe. Yeah, the thing is, I think, uh, you know, with the Grand Harvest from the marketplace, he's gonna get so much money and he will never run out of money. Uh, and gonna get those elite archers, elite, elite um, pikemen. Now he has tower guards, now he has rangers, you know. And you know, all out fight you can't fight with like, uh, mm -hmm. you know, normal spearmen from the Trial Masters and extrovers. Also, Wolf Rider yeah. is not gonna be very impactful. So he needs so to transition. So now that both players have stronger units, um, the fights are starting to look better for a fairy again because Eternal stuff is simply harder to control. Yeah, and he might lose this uh, troll creep at the bottom left side. Now there is a tower to protect. But there are no units inside, and one tower should not be enough against this many units from Fairy. No standing around. Um, however, Eternal. Um, I mean, look at this. It looks like Fairy wants to go for Gandalf. What do you think? Oh. Look, Maybe funny. Aragorn. Aragorn could be also an option. I would love to see Gandalf, obviously. Let's see. Maybe he just has so much income. And uh, Eternal just got Morgomir. Good. More, more extroverts are coming. 
he's trying to get some more rangers. He didn't go for the banner carry upgrade just yet, but just take a look into the minimap. So the, the minimap is looking in favor of the Man of the West player for sure. Mm -hmm. 10 power points collected by Eternal, guys. 550 command points against 825, almost 3000 resources collected by the Man of the West player. After, and 10 power points collected almost after heal reveals rallying call and the Lone Tower special summon. Um, yeah, he's gonna go for an attack from the bottom right side and from the top side at the same time. Oh, Gondor Knights, big mistake. Ooh. And yeah, I mean, you know, killing those Gondor Knights gives you so much power points, that's crazy. Yeah. And yes, now two heroes out and Mogami got very easily two from that. Yeah, that means the passive ability is now unlocked. Oh, Wildman in the tower in the north. That's gonna be funny. They're not attacking though. They're not doing anything. Maybe they're in whole ground stance. I don't know. <laughs> I just wanna I just wanna check if this is the case because they are not shooting at all. Yeah. Let's see if they're in the whole ground freeze stance. It. Freeze it? Oh. Okay. They were in the yeah, whole ground stance. <laughs> oh come on, Eternal. <laughs> uh, freeze was actually not ready yet, so that's okay. why he was not able to use it. In the meantime, he's gonna take down the Lone Tower though, in the middle. Oh, Rebuild was just too late. Uh, Did you see that? Unfortunate. Yeah. Well, oh, long shot. Oh, long shot. Not That's bad. Annoying. Not bad. Uh, the statue has been taken down. Walter was here as well. Let me see his levels. He is now... I can click on him. Two. Level two. Um, farm will be just demolished. Eternal has Mountain Giants ready, boys. Oh, nice. And mm -hmm. with that, he can take down this tower, he can take down potentially, you know, the barracks. Marketplace would be a great target as well, to deny him that resource income, force him so to rebuild it. Do you want to try to do this with your main army, or do you just send in the wolves like he is right now and summon them now? Um, I would not summon them randomly, or I think that's not yeah. a very good choice. Because uh, there are so many units, rangers, Boromir is now here, Theoden is here. On the night, so he has so many units to kill them. And in the worst case, he has also a rebuild, you know. Rebuild was used. Wait a second. Long shot. Galvin. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> you know, he's doing the pretty much the same thing. Tyrion is here. Um, not the greatest hero to tank the damage. Gondor Knights are charging oh. in the bikes. Oh. oh, that was terrible. That was terrible from Fairy. Maybe I jinxed him by saying that he's, you know, microing incredible with those Gondor Knights. Yeah, that's but, the risk if you try to trample so much. Oh, but Rohirrim special summon. There's a lot more. Uh, Eternal now all of a sudden being in a really rough situation. And Rohirrim, they can deal so much damage to the structures. He might be able to take down this level 3 mill, which is uh, one of the two remaining level 3 mills. Snowbind will be used on this level 2. Mm. Um, where are the heroes from Eternal? I think he's he's done. <laughs> He's, done, yeah. He's getting totally overwhelmed. And more units are coming in the meantime from the middle. Rangers are here, tower guards are here. Theoden in the back giving leadership to those units. The level 3 mil will be taken down. Remember, Snowbind was used on this one. I mean, the thing is, you know, if you kill those Rohirrim, you don't get any power points. So because they are special summoned. Mm -hmm. So you don't get any benefits from that. I feel like Waldo earlier would be a much better choice. Especially yeah. when you're get him, getting him level 3, you know. Yeah, if you look at how early he upgraded his hall to level 3 and how late he got the rangers, it was really a misinvestment. Yeah, he just lost the level 3. To, uh, okay, another long shot was incoming from the rangers. He was able to dodge. But not many units are remaining on the field anyway. No more Felvins. Boromir is here level 3. Horn of Gondor is available. Uh, luckily, the Rohirrim are gone, but Galadrim warriors are also coming. That's Lone Tower. In, that's a fiesta right there. I mean, that's the trample. That's the GG yeah. trample. Yeah, gotta say, pretty much just outplayed in the mid game here. Eternal, not able to take the map for himself, I think. Yeah. Unfortunate. Uh, I mean, the games are still good games, uh, close games, all of them actually. Um. But yeah, like you said, I would say that, uh, you know, Fairy had just much cooler heads. He went mm -hmm. for better decisions, better plays, better micro, definitely better macro. Yeah. 
Um, Kyojin is level 4. A bit special summon, just why not? At this point, you don't need to go for anything else. Frodo, uh, you know, is gonna save the Middle Earth again. There we go, GG well played. And Fairy is gonna move to the semi finals now after this game, guys. Um, and his opponent is either gonna be Mirak Turi, one of the patch developers of Rise of the Witch King, so he knows everything about this game, or Plaid, uh, who's also a good player. And yeah, beautiful.